Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here, back again with another drone field test video. Now today, I've got the DJI Spark. You may have seen some of my field test videos already, but what I want to do within this video is explore the intelligent flight modes and possibly the gesture functionality too. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to take it over here to my helipad and uh, take off. Check the link within this video's description. You can find the Spark, multiple colors, multiple bundles, helipad, tutorials, and a whole lot more on irixsky.com, but let's get this show underway here. So I'm just gonna wait for it to calibrate, and I'm going into the DJI Go app version four. It's important to note that when the Spark came out, a new DJI Go Out version came out, and it's DJ Go Out version 4. So, if you don't have that, then um, you probably need to update. And I am, at the time of posting this video, I've got the latest firmware and obviously the latest DJI Go App. My first field test videos were pretty much just basic flight and filming, so I didn't have. Uh, I didn't explore the features such as this. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is format my micro SD card. That's one thing about 1080p is obviously this doesn't do 4K, but with 1080p it doesn't consume as much um, micro SD card space. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to start recording. 99% battery. It's recording now. Let's get started. Making sure y'all can see the yeah the drone and the camera there, and then there I am. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get airborne. And going to go into intelligent flight modes. Clicking through some acknowledgements. Now there's normal. Let's see, I don't know if y'all can see this, you probably can't. Uh, but there's normal, quick shot, active track, tap fly, tripod, and gesture. Let's see what this quick shot does. Okay, it says cannot enter this mode because I was recording a video. So I'm going to have to stop the video and then go into quick shot. So now I'm going to drag myself as a subject. So I see myself on the camera. And I'm going to uh, select myself as a subject. Okay, the aircraft will fly backwards and upwards to do a droning. So let's see what a droning looks like. Obviously, I made sure there's nothing behind there that it could fly into. I'm in a safe and responsible location. So it's got me highlighted. Let's see if y'all can see that on the screen. It's got a little box around me because I selected myself. And I'm going to hit go. goes Yeah, it kept going really far. I'm going to have to explore the, the droney feature in greater detail. So let's bring it back to us. Yeah, that's where I'm going to have to research more. Because it did fly back, but I, I think I may have been expecting a different uh, different behavior than, than what I got from that. We're going to bring it back over here and we're going to go into, uh, we're going to go to gesture mode 
enabled gesture control. When enabled, you will be able to use palm launch, palm land, beacon, and use palm control. So I'm going to enable it. And we're going to play around with this, see what this looks like. Okay, that's kind of, uh, we're going to have to do some research there. Now we're going to try something I'm used to, which is active track. And we're going to see if it tracks me. Obviously, I'll have the controller in my hand to be safe and responsible. But let's see if it actually tracks me really well. Okay, active track works remarkably well. As you can see, it followed me back here. It's maintaining a safe distance. But watch when I walk, when I leave here, it should follow me. I lost it once because I made a very abrupt maneuver. But watch this.
26% battery, so I got low battery. That, and I'm gonna cancel the active track to regain manual control. So now I've got manual control, but that worked remarkably well. I was super impressed with the active track. Let's do a tripod mode since I got low battery. And let's see, let's go really slow. This is tripod mode. Told you I was gonna test several of the features within this video. But notice how smooth that is. Um, and actually as I rotate the drone, it still looks quite smooth. That was a problem with the, uh, with the regular mode that it was kinda, when I rotated the aircraft, it was pretty abrupt. Okay. It's doing a landing. It was doing an auto landing because of low battery. I'm gonna go ahead and land it manually. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. <clears throat> so looking at it on FPV display, the, uh, the tripod mode looked really smooth and the active track worked really well. So, you know, having, a, having tested that now, I see some of the additional value that this DJI Spark, this very small, very lightweight drone, You know, I can see how that how that enhances the value of this drone because you know you've got something that is super small, super lightweight, very portable, but you could in, you could you could put it in a backpack or whatever, pull it out, and have it follow you. And that leads one to to ponder: is is the controller really necessary? I mean, are there many scenarios where someone would want to use a spark? To get, I mean, obviously maintain line of sight to be safe and responsible, but would there be a scenario where someone would need a spark with a controller, or would they want to use a DJI Mavic Pro or a uh, or a DJI Phantom for those filming scenarios? You know, where a little bit more range, obviously flying line of sight to be safe and responsible, but a little bit more range where you can capture that video in 4K. You can't get 4K in, on the Spark. But for this to follow somebody around, I think that's a pretty cool feature. You know, just pop it out, go into auto follow. So, you know, I was impressed with that. I've got one more battery and I'm gonna fly another, uh, another test flight while I'm in the field. Figure I might as well. So just to recap this video, I was exploring the intelligent flight modes. I figured out I gotta do some more research to figure out how to do gestures. Active sync worked remarkably well. Tripod mode seemed to work remarkably well, but I haven't seen it on anything except for the FPV display so far. And uh, yeah, just a good experience, a good control experience. Check the link within this video's description. You can find where to order the DJI Spark online. You can find a plethora of DJI Spark videos that I posted, flight videos, how-to videos, and a whole lot more. So thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash iRigSky. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.